On April 28, 2020, in the Ecuadorian Amazon jungle, a man everybody called Grandfather Mincaye died. Mincaye was born sometime around 1935, 1936. We really don't know because at that time, the Waurani didn't count days or months. They marked the passage of time by things that happened in the jungle, the flowering of the kapok tree, the moon, as people have done for years and years and years. He was getting close to 90 years old, which was unprecedented in the jungle when he was a young man. The thing that impressed most people about him was his giant smile. I mean, Kai had a thousand watt big smile and it was always on his face because Minkai's heart had been changed. Minkai had repented. Minkai had recognized that he had done wrong in the killing, not just of the five guys, but the other killings that had preceded and followed that incident. He recognized this was wrong and he repented, he turned away from his old ways and changed his life because he believed that Jesus had died for him. And that's why Minkai had a million watt smile. I, I don't remember the first time I met Minkai. It had to have been in 1978 or early 79 when I started flying with MAF down in Ecuador. I flew him many times. I flew his wife, Ombade, out to the hospital once when she was very, very sick. Uh, the hospital patched her up, we flew her back in, and several months later she gave me a, a wow hammock that she made in thanks for her getting better. I still have that hammock, I cherish it. A gift from the heart. Minkai, as a leader in his community, was constantly telling others, we cannot go back to our old ways. We cannot, we have to follow the way we heard of the way God wants us to live. His son became and a leader of the community and in the Wow Church. I know two of his grandsons fairly well. Minkai, who's named after him, and Maniwa. Minkai, or Gilberto as he's known, is again, is a strong community leader and a strong church leader. Maniwan would love to be an MAF pilot. He worked on and got his private pilot's license. We've been working for some time trying to get a visa, bring him to the U.S., but have not been able to. He is working on his ANP, Airframe and Power Plant, license. He works in the hangars, a great kid. I flew with Gilberto several years ago when he was going around to different wild communities and giving them hand cranked cassette tape players, which seems a little archaic in today's world, but they require no batteries. You just crank them. There's a flywheel that maintains the speed and those who can't read and write can hear stories. Now I have to say that Gilberto will tell you today in the different wild communities about 30, 40% of the people would claim to follow Christ. The others, they don't want to have anything to do with the church. But I tell you what, Minkai, and through his family, was a strong, strong witness of a change in his life. Minkai, in that moment when he met Jesus, it was something we can't even imagine. And then, to meet Nate, Roger, Ed, Pete, Jim, Rachel, Elizabeth, many other people that played a part in that story that started back in 1956. What a reunion that would have been. And we all have that to look forward to if, if we believe that what Jesus did for us, changed us, cleansed us of our sins, and allowed us to start on a new trail with a thousand watt smile on our face.